What's up guys, it's your boy Gong. Welcome back to my Let's Play game series, Jamaica Hills on the Iskia Farm map for Farming Simulator 19. And in the last episode, as you guys saw, we planted that field with um, sugar, sugar cane. Now we're taking some more contracts so we can build the money up and continue on the expansion. Because I'm thinking that by the time we're ready to start harvesting or the sugarcane we're, we're gonna be in a good position to expand based off of that money so i'm trying to get that money get some money up before so we can do major expansion i want to do more of the sheep and stuff like that and get that kind of stuff going so basically we're in the middle of a contract here or just started a contract i should say so if you guys would, go ahead and hit the like button. Please subscribe and hit the bell beside the subscribe button to stay up to date with what's going on. And if you have any... Alright guys, so we completed a few contracts for fertilizing. Heading back to the farm now to see what's up with the animals. Um, and take a look at what else we can do. See what if there's anything to clean up with the chickens as well as the um, the sheep. So let's let's see what's up. Let's see. I haven't taken a look at them in a little bit. So let's see if any wool is, has been made. We have one two three six box of eggs mm, that's not too much let's see how the sheep are doing they're good on clean oh that's the chickens sorry uh, sheep are good on cleanliness and food and everything there it says we have seven liters of wool Where's the, oh wow okay so i i'm not sure how much money we'll make off of that Guess we're going to find out what I'll do is wait until one pallet is full and then go from there and see if we have how much money we actually make from that. But everything seems to be in order. So what I'm going to do is probably accept a few more contracts, um, have the day been um, progress a little more and bring you guys back in. All right, guys. So over the past, it would have been a split second for you, but maybe 10 minutes for me, I... Um, Sat down and I did an overview of the animals I want for this map. Um, did some more research into the Jamaican agriculture economy and all that stuff and their stats. And we've come to a decision. The goal on this map is going to be 800 chickens, 150 pigs, um, 50 sheep, and 300 cows at minimum for the cows. Uh, maybe 25 horse here or there. So we're going to incorporate a lot more livestock than we already had. So now, I'm purchasing 170 more chickens, and I add them in. That's done. So now, if we take a look in here, we should be at 171 plus, let's do the math. At 70, that is 341. Let me just use an invention called the calculator really quickly. All right, so currently we are at 340 out of the 800, so I'm going to go ahead and jot that down. So basically what this now means is I'm going to have to add more, more wheat. I'm going to have to be more adamant on the, um, the cleaning up aspect of it as well. And on top of that, I'm going to hopefully produce more eggs. Um, I think I'm going to install a mod that will... Turn the eggs into pallets. That way it is um, 
it's a bit easier to transport just like how for the sheep we have all of that in you know as a pallet already i think that's what i'm going to end up doing um as for the sheep we need 50 in total we currently have four so i think i can do let's see one two three four five six more for now actually no let's hold off on that what i'm gonna do for them is i'm gonna actually purchase them from the animal dealer from the rent a trailer and all of that so before i get any of that done let's get some wheat for the the, the chickens and um bring you guys back when we have that done All right, guys, we are back. We did a whole bunch of stuff within the past, I would say, 30 minutes. As you can see, we picked up all the eggs. We got them sold. We placed the um, the egg pallets there so they can collect it, it will, so that it will be easier for us to transport the eggs when we need to. We also started planting the, um, the peas on this small patch here, hoping that 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 will just you know bring some additional income so as i was saying earlier for this map we're gonna do a whole bunch more livestock as well as we're going to let me flip the pages in my notebook really quickly all right so we've been focusing on sugarcane and peas i was thinking of taking down the citrus tree, the citrus trees because i mean they take a bit of work, but I realize they do bring in some income, whether it's a thousand dollars or whatever, and that helps. Um, cotton is going to be our next big thing that we do, as well as potato. So what I'm thinking is harvest a couple times from the sugar cane. I'm hoping that between the sheep and the chicken, that will bring us some additional supplemental income until we can afford to maybe buy the biogas plant, because I think the biogas plant is what we need to buy next. Let's see how much it costs to purchase it. All right, so that's 124,000. So we're 100,000 shy of where we need to be. So that's the next step. After we buy that, then we're going to go ahead and be rid of this field here and do, um, we're going to do pigs here instead. And then we're going to do cows. So. Big expansions coming once we can purchase the biogas. And once we complete doing all of that, I think the next step is going to be purchasing field, let's say 25 is 291, which I don't know why it is that much. It's going to be purchasing maybe the set of small lots here, which together they're about, they amount to about $200,000. So that's probably going to be the next step. Um end game is to actually move to this location here 
But that's 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 nowhere near now. That's a way, way, way down. So, you know, we keep on doing what we're doing right now. Hustle through. Um, let me finish up what I have here and I'll bring you guys back in. All right, guys, so we picked up a spring contract. I mean, we're renting this herbicide right now to do our own field, so we may as well use it and collect some money off of it at the same time. Um, we're going to get this done. We're going to see if there are any harvesting jobs. Most of the har harvesting jobs so far have been um, potato and sugar beets and stuff like that. So we're going to hold off on those for now, and then... Um, Get through this fertilizing and see what next is available. Bring you guys back in. All right, guys, we just completed a herbicide job. Um, we're using the sprayer that we leased to the oil fields. I guess having it and utilizing it for other stuff is pretty is good as well. So my next aim for this video before I finish is to... Let me see where these animals are. 19, 13. Yeah, my next goal is to make back ten thousand dollars so we can be back at 30 or so to closer to where we started this video with so let me take a look at these contracts and see if i can find one and if i do find one i'll start it and i'll bring you guys back in during that process All right, guys. So we um finished the we finished harvesting the field for twenty two. They want us to take it to to ranch. So what I'm gonna do is take it to ranch, and um just give off enough or deliver enough to complete the contract. And then when I'm finished, I'm gonna take the rest to port because port has it for 
200 and 200 and plus dollars more than ranch so we'll be making more money and i apologize for the the darkness i know it's night so i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna end the video there so bring you guys back when we're at ranch finishing the contract and then when we are no, actually not bring you guys back when we're at port all right guys we completed that contract we're now up to twenty six thousand. um seen as it's night time what i'm gonna do is go ahead and end the episode here if you guys did like it, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, please subscribe and hit the bell beside the subscribe button to stay up to date with what's going on. And please leave a comment below and just give us some feedback. And um, thank you guys again for watching.